Hi, good morning YouTube. Alright, this video here is going to be about your batteries, charging the batteries, filling the batteries, the numbers, understanding what's really going on. Alright, so down here, down into here, here's my battery bank. It goes on, right? So I'm running a 24 volt system. Here's the battery bank. So, now it's morning time. All right, the sun came up. It's a beautiful day and everything else. Now, I used power last night in my batteries. So let's explain how that works. And I didn't really know in the beginning either. I thought, well, what the heck, you know? The sun comes up. My battery voltage is down. And 15 minutes after the sun comes up, 30 minutes, all of a sudden, I'm back up to full charge, right? I'm 25.6, and I'm thinking, hey, my batteries are good. I'm 100% I'm charged. I can start running everything. I charged up that fast. Not true. All right, let's explain a little bit here. We're going to come down. We're going to look at this battery meter right here. Okay, so it's saying right now I'm at 26.33 volts, putting in uh, 7.9 amps into the batteries, 208 watts. So I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, well, I'm 26.3. I'm fully charged, fully charged. <clears throat> Not true. This is where the trick comes. So if we come in here and we try and focus in a little more, uh, it's having a hard time focusing. So down at the bottom it shows a discharge, and I'll just read those numbers off to you. So it says I'm minus 60.802 amp hours. So right now, even though my voltage is back up, and it's saying that I'm at 26.8, three five I'm still minus in the amp hours down below there's a little discharge it'll say there so I'm minus 60 amp hours off my battery so if you look at this you're thinking well 26.3 I'm fully charged you're not the voltage reading that you're gonna get is gonna give you kind of a false reading because the voltage will go up but the capacity is still not there this is where it comes into bulk charging float charging, absorption. So right now it's bulking the batteries. So where people make mistakes is they think, well, I'm fully charged and I can run, you know, I could sit there and I could just run my batteries, run my solar, you know, run my system. That's my system over here. I could run everything I want right now because I'm fully charged. Well, that's kind of not right. What you want to do in the morning, what I do, is you really want to bulk this thing up fast, right? So what happens is people make the mistake that they think that, well, my batteries are fully charged and they don't realize if there's all those amp hours missing that they ran the night before. So last night I ran about 80 amp hours off this thing. So you need to put the 80 amp hours back in. You want to get your batteries all the way up to full charge. Right? So you get this reading and you're saying 26.3, I'm good. I'm fully charged. I'm still minus 60 amp hours in the battery. So you need to do is you need to put, look at that thing, just kicked on the fridge, just kicked on inside there. You see that was jump right up in the watts and all of a sudden it comes back down. So what happens is, is that you have a solar arrays. This is where people make mistakes. They get a couple solar arrays and they're like, oh, okay, I put a couple hundred watts of panels up there, and I have eight or ten batteries, and I'm good. Well, you're, you're not, because what's happening is, see, here's one array up there on top, then the other one. So what, what's going on here is that you're going to start using your power, right? So now you're using all your power, but you haven't bulked the batteries back up. And this is where you see people making mistakes. You can see here, up here, my other array is up here. And then over there is where my new array is for a 12 volt. So you're, you're powering up your system. And they get up in the morning and they go, I'm going to make coffee and I'm going to do all this stuff. And now I got sunlight and I'm going to power, power, power. And they don't have enough panels. This is where you need to get enough solar you want more solar to charge those batteries than you're going to use people are always saying well i gotta use every single watt you want to have enough 
solar you want to put more than you think you're going to need right and that's why i added that array right there because i realized real quick like well wait a minute if i'm running all this power and i'm not charging my batteries so they look and they say well i have a 500 watt array and i have eight batteries and i'm good i can run all day long so during the daylight they think i'm under power 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 and they go my voltage is good i'm setting at 25.6 volts I'm setting at 26 volts. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Well, what's happening is they're using all that power that they're producing, and they think they're doing something great because now I'm, I'm using all that energy. I'm, I'm just, I'm making it happen. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Well, you're not because what's, what it is is say, this array here basically is my power for the day. I could run power off that one there. And this array is basically filling my batteries. If I try to use all the power, what happens is you never go all the way up and, and absorb in your battery. So you're always staying right in the middle. So you're negative, you know, 40 amp hours. And then the nighttime comes. And you pull more wattage out of that thing at night. And you run stuff at night. And you go, okay. And then you're like, well, my batteries, they're not holding up. They're really discharging more than they did before. Your batteries are getting weaker because you didn't, you didn't fill that thing. Every day you want to go all the way up and fill it so if i'm at 60 i want to wind up at 70 right so i got to put 60 back in plus i'm going to put about 10 more amp hours back into the batteries so to to fully absorb it so now every day my batteries come back up no sulfation i have 0.0, .0 sulfation on these batteries at all because every day they go up they go all the way up to 29 volts they bubble in there they knock the sulfation off my batteries i've had them for over a year perfect and the reason is, is because every single day I go all the way up to absorb for an hour and then drops back down. Then every night I have fully charged batteries, just like they're brand new, to run everything. And the next day the process starts over again. So you want to get more solar panels. So if you have, you know, up here I'm running 1,200 watts. Well, 1,200 watts will power my refrigerator during the day, uh, my cable boxes, all that stuff I'm running in the house. Plus, I have excess power, so I'm fully bulked usually by about noon. Then the rest of the day is just extra power. So am I wasting power? Well, I want to make sure I have enough power to, to absorb those batteries because the batteries are the most important part, most expensive parts your batteries. You want to take care of them. So you want to realize that you have to bring that voltage up. And if you're sitting here looking at something and saying, I'm at 26 volts on a 24-volt system, well, your volts is at 26, but your batteries are still not fully absorbed. They're not all the way full. So you got like a gas tank. You got to fill that gas tank and think of it as a car. All right. So if your your uh, fuel gauge is off and you have a, a, a half a tank of gas and the thing is reading full and you take off driving and you're driving because I got a full tank and it's still saying that you have half a tank or full tank. All of a sudden, you run out of gas because your gauge is not reading correctly, right? So you're like, well, I had a full tank. I should be able to go 300 miles, and I only went 150 because your gauge is broken, and you run out of gas. It's the same process with the battery. If you only have it half full, and then you go into the night, and you run the night, and you come back the next morning, you're like, well, why is my battery dead? Why is it empty? And then all the sulfation comes. So it's, it's the same thing. It's, it gives you the, the numbers give you a false reading and if you look at your voltage, it's, it's false because your voltage will climb, but your batteries are not full. So you want to bring the voltage way up to bulk, absorb, go back into float. So just a quick understanding, people, they build these systems and they, they ruin their batteries. Because if you do what they're doing there and you look at it and you say, hey, I'm, I'm running all this power during the day and my batteries stay at 26 all day long. Never go up to 27, never go to 28, never go to 29. They just power, power, power. Then at night I use it and I wake up in the morning and my God, I'm down at 50% discharge. And then I start using it again and again and again. You're sulfating, you're sulfating, you're sulfating those batteries. And what's going to happen is, is that you're going to ruin those batteries pretty quick. And then you, you are going to have a hell of a time trying to fix them. You're going to basically go get new batteries. And that's one of the problems that people wind up having. And if you watch this video, you'll figure out real quick. And the way I figured out is when I got that meter is when I really figured out how this system, you know, the process of what it really works. So 
get more panels, charge your batteries up. Don't just sit there in the middle of the day running all your power and not being able to bulk it. If you want to run a lot of power, you got to have a lot of solar panels. That way you're charging, you're running the power, but you're still charging and charging and charging those batteries, bringing those batteries all the way back up. So that's where you got to get the balance of how much solar power do I need that I'm using during the day and how to get extra to fill my batteries back up. So during the day, I say, okay, well, these two panels will hold me during the day, right? Okay, those hold me during the day, but now I haven't bulked up and floated my batteries. I haven't put all those amp hours I used last night back in. That's where these come into effect. Okay, well, then these ones here are going to fill my battery, and I'm going to power my house off those ones. So it's a balance. You've you got to figure out what the balance is to your bank to how much power you're using. All right, I hope this helps somebody out, kind of figure out what's going on there. Uh, huh. Okay, beautiful day. Thank you to YouTube. See you later.